So next up we're going to do vessels. To look for the vessels we start up high up in the femoral crease. Again right about the same point where we're looking at the hip, right about halfway between the ASIS and the uh, pubic symphysis. And when we first find the vessels we see the artery and the vein, the veins medial. If we track proximally, we should see the saphenous vein. As it joins in the femoral vein, and the veins should collapse, and the artery resists compression. If we track the vein a little bit more distally, you can see they align themselves vertically. And if we're careful, we can see the vertical split of the deep femoral vein. And that's an important landmark when we're looking to rule out DVT, to make sure we see the deep femoral vein as well as the common, and they both collapse. You can see that deep one down there? You know, go up there, they're together, there they split. So if you're doing DVT study, you've got to get down to that point. We get into the popliteal fossa. So I'm just going to have you bend a little bit here. Just grab the transducer however you're holding it. Get right in the crease. Identify the vessels. Make sure the vein collapses. Track it proximal. Do you see all the branch points? Popliteal trifurcation. Make sure all the branch points compress. You can see it branching there. All those venous structures collapse.